Hey, my name is Johnny Nelson, and I am the executive director here at JSAW, and a skateboarder, a wake surfer, and a snowboarder. Growing up, my life was really difficult. It was really tough. Um, I grew up in a single parent home. My dad left my mom uh, right before I was born. He was a coke addict, and my mom loved to party. And uh, in that moment um, where she was left on her own, she turned to the church to get help. And so growing up, I didn't know anything different. I just thought this is what life is like. We went to church every Sunday. I memorized all the Bible verses. Uh, when I was about five years old, my mom uh, was reading the book of Revelation to me before bed. And we came across a verse where it talks about anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. And I was afraid and said, I don't want to go to the lake of fire, mom. Like, I, I, I don't want that. And she said, well, you have to put your faith and trust in Jesus. And so she led me in the sinner's prayer. I prayed to accept Christ that night. We celebrated that. It was super exciting. But I don't think I fully really understood what Christ had done for me. Um, it was just kind of all up here in my head. Um, I didn't want to go to hell, and so I accepted Jesus. And as life went on, uh, when I was about 10 years old, my mom got remarried, and she relapsed into drugs and alcohol with my uh, stepdad. And that was extremely difficult for me because it just blew up my whole world. Um, I was super depressed. I was angry. I was hurt. I was broken. And it just sucked. During that time, I tried to commit suicide twice. I just felt like there was no purpose to life. I wasn't experiencing any life or any love uh, in my life anyway. So what was the point? During that time, um, I also got in trouble. Uh, I was at youth group and I uh, was stealing out of the candy machine where you kind of stick your hand in there and reach up and grab the candy and pull that out. And uh, of course I got caught and I had to go in front of the entire youth group and apologize air my sins out in front of them and say like look this is what I was doing and I was wrong and it was super humiliating but in that moment they loved me they forgave me they accepted me into their group and I hadn't experienced that before in my life and I I wanted to know what that was and where it came from so they they explained how Jesus loves us and how Jesus had loved each of them, even though they were broken. And in that moment, I, I wanted more of that in my life. So that's when I rededicated my life to Christ. Like I wanted more of Christ in my life. And I started digging into God's word because I wanted to, to understand more of how I could get that love and experience that more in my life. As I was uh, digging into scripture, um, I came across uh, James chapter 2, verse 17. And this is what it says. In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. And that kind of blew me away. Um, I believed in God, but I wasn't really doing anything about it. And this verse really challenged me to put my faith into action and actually do something about my faith. Now, I had become a skateboarder. Skateboarding was my escape to get out of my broken home. I could go out, hang out with my friends, skateboard, be free, and just kind of do whatever. Um, so for me, putting my faith into action, like I experienced God's love in such a powerful way I wanted all of my skater friends who were also struggling to know that love. And so to put my faith into action, like it says in James 2.17, I started sharing Jesus with my skater friends. And within a few months, I came up with the idea of 
starting up a skate park in our community where kids could come and skate and I could hang out with my friends, but we could also share Jesus with all of the skaters. And within nine months after that, uh, JSA, the organization, was born. And since then, it's been a wild ride. That was 20 years ago. And we've been able to share the gospel with hundreds of thousands of skateboarders all around the world. And it's because of this verse, faith, by itself, if it's not accompanied by action, is dead. That challenge to me caused me to want to put my faith into action and do something about what it is that I believe. That Jesus loves us. That he died on the cross for us. And so that's kind of my story. And uh, yeah, I hope that it challenges you and encourages you to put your faith into action. And if you don't believe in Jesus, to give your life to Him fully so that you can experience that love that I experienced when I was a kid and that I experience every single day. Thanks.